Hey, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising in Venus. Um, this is Donna from Tarot Tarot. Um, I am here to do your reading, uh, your love reading. Uh, I did um, one one deck, actually. It's from the uh, Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot, this one. Um, and I did a three-card poll for past, present, and future. Oh my God, my eyes look so red. Um, my eyes were itching about half an hour ago and I rubbed them without thinking and I was like, I haven't done the Pisces read yet. So now everybody thinks I've smoked the bong and I haven't. <laughs> I just, I don't know what it was. Dust, who, who knows? But went like this and went, oh no. <laughs> it's like crap. How long is it going to take to go back to normal? Um, so I also, I looked at um, also the two upcoming eclipses. So I'm, I'm doing your tarot read and I'm also looking at the two upcoming eclipses for your astrology too, because I might as well throw that in a little bit too. So, um, I did um, three cards for past, three for present, three for future, and then I looked at the bottom of the deck. When I went to pull the third one for the present, two fell out, so you got four there. And when I went to grab the bottom of the deck, a card popped out, so you got a couple extras in here. But uh, long story short, and I made a couple of notes here, so I don't like lose my path. Um, in the past, it looks like... Uh, Oh, and yeah, if you if this resonates with you, I would appreciate if you would hit uh, like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when um, upcoming videos, you know, when I'm releasing them. But so here's the thing: to getting right into it, um, in the past it looks like impatience and love, um, in the past has cost you because you didn't protect your heart. Um, and and I'll show you what the cards that I'm looking at for that. I got the um, the Eight of Wands, the Hermit, and the Lover's card, and that's how I'm interpreting that. So these cards, you know, you were impatient, you got your heart hurt. Um, so, and everybody knows that Pisces wears their heart on their sleeve, so they just kind of rush in. And um, Now, it looks like uh, you're in a bit of a painful situation. You kind of feel trapped. You're holding on to what you have because you're fearing change. And you've started something new. You're waiting to see the results from it, to see where it goes. Um, and that could be that could be both your love life or your um, maybe your career. And the reason I say that is because in astrology, Venus rules love and money. In tarot, pentacles are money, and um, cups are emotions, like love. But they're interchangeable because sometimes pentacles can be your emotions and sometimes cups can be money. So take it as as you get it. But um, what I'm the ones I'm getting for that, um, I've got the the two or I'm sorry the three of swords, the eight of swords. So it's both mental energy and as an astrologer to me swords are fire because you always think of people using swords to fight and fire fire signs like to fight. Think Aries, but everybody in the tarot community record, you know, says that it's, it's mental activity. So we're just going to go with it. Um, so the three of swords, the eight of swords, um, two of wands and the four of pentacles. Um, this is how I, I see you having, you know, you're having, you're in a bit of a painful situation. You're in a holding pattern, your painful situation right here, holding, um, you're feeling trapped. Um, you're holding on to what you have. That's the four of pentacles right there. Um, and you're, you've started something and you're looking to see, you're looking for your ships coming in. You want to see, you know, how it plays out. Um, in the future, <laughs> getting emails out the butt here. Um, in the future, um, soon you're going to walk away from something and start something new and it will lead to happiness and abundance. So here's you walking away. That's the, um, the eight of cups. Oh, and with a lot of with three eights in your reading you had the eight of wands eight of swords and eight of cups eights are i see that as determination um you've got a mindset shift um but here's the eight of cups you're walking away from something you see that, that they're just walking away they're like no now it could be a love thing it could be um something that brings you money your job you could be walking away from a job but i i'm wondering for a lot of you if it's your love life you've you're walking away from an offering that just isn't working out. Um, so you've started something new. Here's new. But now this is pentacles and usually it applies to money. Um, but it could be a love offering. Um, so you've started something new. Um, or you're going to be starting something new. Um, and it's going to lead to happiness and abundance. Ten of cups. That's happiness and abundance right there. Ten's a completion of a cycle too. So 
you're going to get ultimately what you want. On the bottom of the deck, I got the strength card and the swords. Um, you're going to feel like you've, you've been fighting a losing battle. Um, and you've hit rock bottom, but have patience. It's all going to work out. Ten of cups. Just remember that. So here's the strength card and the ten of swords. Um, I we had the eight of swords, ten of swords, a lot of swords. Um, four swords. So it's going to work out. Just hang hang tough. Even though you feel defeated, it's it's going to work out. Um, astrologically, I, I looked at the upcoming eclipses, and I actually I'm going to I pulled up my, uh, come on, iPad. Really? Um, so there was an eclipse on the 30th, and there's going to be another one on the 14th of December. The one um, on, we just had on the 30th was, um, I don't know if you can even see this. Can I show you this? This is the chart, astrology chart I'm looking at. This is, um, if you can even see the moon, that's the eclipse right there, in Gemini on the 30th. For you, that's your fourth house of home, family, roots, um, the past. The one that's coming up on the 14th is in, I don't know, you can't see this, but it's right here in your 10th house um, of career and public image. It's going to be in Sagittarius, tropical Sagittarius. Um, so two eclipses, um, one in your fourth house, one in your 10th house, 10th house of career and public image, one in, that affects your home, family. And then on the 21st, um, <laughs> the buzzkill planet of Saturn <laughs> and the lucky planet of Jupiter uh, are going to come together in a conjunction in, um, in Capricorn, which is your 11th house of hopes, dreams, wishes, friendships, groups, associations. So I'm wondering if something that you've always wanted to do or something you've really hoped for um, is coming to fruition. It's going to affect your home, your family, um, your public image, your career. I mean, maybe it's, maybe it could be as simple as getting married for some of you. That would definitely change your home situation and your public image because all of a sudden you're off the market. <laughs> you're now a Mr. or Mrs., you know, so and so, whatever. Um, or it could be a job that you move your home for, but it's a job you've always wanted. Um, or, um, it could be a job in which you are now working out of your home, whereas you were working outside the home. Now you're working, you're doing a job. On, so it, it, just think home, public image and things that you've always, you know, something you've always wanted or something that, you know, it could be, um, since the Levitt house is also groups and associations, you could be promoted to the president of whatever association, you know, um, you'll know what applies to you. Um, so also you've had, um, Neptune, which is the planet that, Modern astrologers say rules Pisces. I say, you know, I go with the traditional, which is Jupiter, but um, has been in, Neptune's been in your, for those of you who are Pisces rising, in your first house of, you know, your physical body and how people see you. And um, Neptune is the planet of illusion, disillusion, confusion. <laughs> I mean, it dissolves. It kind of expands as it dissolves something too. So, you know, you may be, if you experience weight gain since it's moved, it's moved in, been in there for a few years though. So this is a slow mover. It's a slow ass. Let me tell you. Um, but you also have, um, Mars, the plan of action, aggression, energy. This is Pudge wanting my attention. <laughs> she says, I want on camera. <laughs> Mommy, let me on camera. All right, Pudge. And then jealous row row. <laughs> See, I'm trying to do a reading, girls. Shut it, ladies. <laughs> okay, this is. I swear to God, <laughs> this is my row row, my little chunky row row. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Pudge. See, right. oh, please don't. <laughs> Love you. Don't want any dog spit. <laughs> um, so you've had Mars, the, the planet of action, aggression, and energy. <laughs> Speaking of aggression, um. In your second house of um, finances, resources, money, assets. So there's different ways you can look at it. Um, some Pisces rising and Pisces sun folks um, have experienced a shortage of money. Money has been taken away from you somehow. Um, or you could be suffering a shortage of money because of a fire. <laughs> a fire could have taken you know, your um, resources. Hopefully none of that stuff. Hopefully you just are experiencing more energy when it comes to making money and socking it away, you know, or getting there, getting out there and getting it. Um, also, I forgot, if you are Pisces Venus with Neptune in Pisces, 
you are more likely to have rose colored glasses. So you've probably been that way for a few years, depending on where your Pisces is, because it's each sign is 30 degrees. It starts at zero of whatever the sign is and goes to 29. So depending on where Venus was when you, the day you were born, you know, Pi, uh, Neptune's at 18 Pisces right now. So it could be, you know, wherever. Um, but it, it would make a person with Venus in Pisces have rose colored glasses. Um, and if you have moon in Pisces, um, it gives you confusion with your feelings. You don't know how to feel about someone or something. It just, it's, you're, it's very confusing to know how you feel. And like I said, Neptune is a slow mover and I'm really sorry about that. But you know, every frustration is a lesson. It brings lessons and learning and it makes us better people, <laughs> though it doesn't seem like it at the time. Um, and what the crap? Uh, right now we've got, um, or no, we don't. We had at the during the the um, eclipse, the last eclipse, Venus and Mercury were in Scorpio. Let's see where Venus and Mercury are now. Let's just see where they are now. Um, what is today? Today is the seventh. <laughs> just back that thing up. Okay. So sh um, yeah, all right, let's behave. Uh, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Oh, come on. <laughs> Venus is in Scorpio. That's your uh, ninth house. So, um, Brenus, Venus, Venus, good Lord. Venus uh, brings, um, you know, happiness and luck and, and shines a positive light on um, anything ninth house for you, which um, if you're doing a uh, if you're in college for anything, you're trying to get um, a degree in something because ninth house is long-term learning. Third house is short-term learning. Ninth house is a degree. Uh, third house is like a, I don't know, a, a class in basket weaving or something, some shit like that. <laughs> um, but ninth house is like long distance term learning and also long distance travel. So if you take a, a trip across the planet, you know, um, so Venus gives you, you know, positive luck it shines you know it just makes everything nicer um and that's a ninth house is also um publishing um the court system and all that good stuff so it's it's a good thing for you um right now in your 10th house the sun and mercury so the the focus right now is on your uh, career and public image um oh and i, I have to say because sonia just posted something on facebook sonia if you're reading if you're seeing this you said, when are you doing the Pisces reading? And so here it is. <laughs> uh, so hopefully it resonates. Um, if it does resonate with you, um, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Oh, and then the moon. Right now, the moon is in your seventh house for the use of you who are on Pisces rising and, and Pisces sun. Pisces sun, folks, it's, it's your solar seventh house of partnerships. So the moon, your, your thoughts or your concerns right now are on partnerships. So perfect timing, huh? Um, maybe I should do that is every time... That's not a bad idea, right? As an astrologer, every time the moon is in somebody's seventh house, do the reading for that side. <laughs> that is not a bad idea. <laughs> I'll be like a couple of readings these days for so-and-so the next couple days for, you know, it'll take me forever to get through the signs. Yeah. You get one reading a month. Yeah, nobody wants that. But, uh, but yeah, so right now, if your concern, if your concerns are, <laughs> um, your with your, um, God, I can't talk, man. I've got two dogs sitting in my lap just waiting for them to start barking again. Um, your relationships, it's because the moon is in your seventh house of partnerships. Um, and I, I that's, that's it. And that's really all I've got. I'm just going to cut this short now. But anyway, um, have a good one. And say bye, Robo. Say bye. <laughs> Pudge is sleeping.